Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, it looks like more and more that white America is turning on each other. Now everyone knows Alex Jones. He is this loud mouth who is very Ray Ray in nature. And y'all know what I mean by that. He always has these conspiracies that he's touting. Uh, he was the one or the face and voice behind, the loud voice, behind InfoWars. So because he was talking too much, because he said too much, he ended up being sued um, after the Sandy Hook incident that occurred um, a long time ago. Uh, many of you may be familiar with that where um, children uh, lost their lives and this man just, you know, he ran with all these conspiracies and they said enough is enough. So. What's happening now is because those families won against him, uh, he's bankrupt. And so I'm going to let you hear a little bit about what's going on. Um, Alex Jones is furious. The Onion, uh, they bought InfoWars out from un under him. Now, The Onion is a satire news network. Some of you may be familiar with them. Some of you may not. But they have some very, very silly... Uh, very realistic looking reports that they put out, but they are completely satire. Um, the information that they put out is only meant for entertainment and to be funny. And so let's listen at him rant and rave about this first. And then, of course, I'm going to share the report with you. So we are here on air right now. And I want to see the documents. I want to see the court order. The Onion buys Alex Jones InfoWars at auction with help from Sandy Hook family. So they're buying a company to get the equipment, the name, and money that's in InfoWars to then give it to themselves. But it's not about the money. So again, it's, 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 it's insane. When I go to these court hearings, these people are there, particularly Connecticut. They 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 just smile at me and like wait by the door and like, uh, just like, <laughs> and, and, and it's like they live on me and talk about me and I'm their persecutor because I'm famous and successful and barely ever talked about them. So they're attached to me. And the FBI and the CIA cooked all this up. So we are here on air. Well, like I said, y'all, to me, it seems like uh, folk are turning on each other, <laughs> right? Um, it seems like they're turning on each other. But, you know, this is what you get. You know, these people, they, they have caused so much trouble in this world. They have caused so much trouble. Now it seems like they are fighting each other and the whole world is watching. And trust and believe the world is laughing as well. It seems like America is becoming unhinged as a nation. It's coming undone. Again, I like to point out the fact that they stole this country and you think everything is going to be peace and harmony for you forever on stolen property. The Most High, God of Heaven, as the world calls Him, uh, He is righting some wrongs. Now, you can be furious all you want, but the system that you loved so much the system that helped you to get to where you are because they are the ones who gave you the permission to be the loud mouth that you are. Now the system is coming undone. The system is coming for you now. See, everybody's okay when the system is coming for black folk or is coming for this group or that group. But now that they are turning on each other and this thing is falling down, this Babylonian system is coming undone. Uh, these people are losing it. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They use that freedom of speech where they can say all of the Ray Ray things they want to say. And then, of course, they started tapping on topics. They say, OK, now that you're tapping on topics that deal with us, we're coming for you. As long as you're talking about so-called black folk, nobody cares. You see, that's what happened with Candace Owens. 
As long as she was talking about black folk, they were leaving her alone. They were giving her permission to do it. But the minute she started talking about the untouchable group, the group that she didn't have permission to say anything about, that's when they came for her. Because of her large platform, they say, no, you cannot do that. You can't do it. Whenever you have a platform or following this large, they don't like for you to say certain things. And the Sandy Hooks kids who lost their lives, they were off limits. You were not supposed to say anything about that, right? And so now, again, we see this thing uh, happening here in America. It's happening so fast. I want to share with you a little bit about The Onion for those of you who are not familiar. Uh, the Onion, this is what they plan on doing. It says The Onion buys the conspiracy theory site, InfoWars, with plans to make it very funny, very stupid. They're a satirical news outlet. They purchased the media platform from, run by Alex Jones at a court-ordered auction. It says the satirical news outlet The Onion has purchased InfoWars, the right-wing media platform run by the conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, at a court-ordered auction. The news was confirmed on Thursday morning in a video by Jones himself, as well as the head of The Onion's parent company. I just got word 15 minutes ago that my lawyers and folks met with the U.S. trustee over our bankruptcy this morning. <clears throat> they said they are shutting us down even without a court order. Now, this is what he's saying. They just said that this was, this, this was purchased at a court. But, uh, you know, of course, they're going to lie and say that it wasn't. This is, this is the talking points they put out there. They put out lies. This is how they operate. They will put out lies so people can say, oh, my goodness, the system is this, that, and the third. You didn't care if the system was putting out lies about other people. But when they come for you again, you try to combat it by putting out lies. Jones said in the video that he shared on X that it was without a court order, although that is not the case. The Connecticut Democrats with the Onion newspaper bought us, is what he said. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do, nothing to do with Democrats. <sighs> Gee whiz. So, again, he wants to politicize it, make it seem like it's a Democrat against Republican thing. Both Republican and Democrat are on the chopping block by the Most High God of Heaven. Your whole system is coming undone. Right? It says, The Onion plans to rebuild the website and feature well-known internet humor writers and content creators. CEO Ben Collins confirmed this in a post on Blue Ski on Thursday, writing, The Onion, with the help of the Sandy Hook families, has purchased InfoWars. We are planning on making it very funny, very stupid website. We have retained the services of some Onion and Clickhole Hall of Famers to pull this off. I can't wait to show you what we have hooked up. Collins had it. Oh my goodness. This is so funny to me, y'all. He says in another post on Blueski, Collins said that parts part of the reason we did did bought InfoWars is because people on Blueski told us it would be funny to buy InfoWars, adding that those people were right. This is the funniest thing that has ever happened. The purchase includes the acquisition of Jones Company intellectual property, such as the website, customer list, inventory, and certain social media accounts and the production equipment, according to CNN. Uh, the amount of the bid has not been disclosed. The immediate aftermath of the news breaking publicly, uh, Jones started streaming live on X, lambasting the sale of his site, uh, railing against the onion, among others. Jones told viewers that it's a distinct honor to be here in defiance of the tyrants. He emphasized that no one told him he couldn't go live. Uh, Jones also began to ramble about the up upcoming Donald Trump administration, telling viewers things like, this is the fight. This is the fight. If you think the deep state has given up, think again. America is awake now. As of Thursday afternoon, Infowars.com has turned into a white screen with a single sentence emblazoned across the screen. Site unavailable till further notice. Uh, the sale uh, follows a judge's order earlier this year for Jones to liquidate his personal assets to help him pay off the $1.4 billion he was ordered to pay 
the families of the victims of 2012 Sandy Hook school shooting uh, that took the lives of uh, 20 first graders and six educators when they took him to court for defamation after he falsely claimed that the thing was a hoax and that they were actors who staged the, the, the incident as a part of a government plot to seize American guns. So, Jones and his company, Free Speech Systems, filed bankruptcy protection in 2022. In order to make the bid work, a lawyer representing the family told CNN that the families agreed to forego a portfolio of their recovery uh, to increase the overall value of the Onion's bid, enabling its success. After surviving unimaginable loss and courage and integrity, they rejected Jones's hollow offers for alleged more money if they would only let him stay on the air because doing so would have put our families in harm's way, said Chris Matty, an attorney for the families. In a social media post earlier this week, Matty added that the breakup of InfoWars this week is just the start of Alex Jones' lesson in accountability and that the families will go after his future income and any new InfoWars owner acting as a vehicle for Jones' continued control of the business. Wow. So, hmm, this is interesting news, y'all. See, these people think they can continue to hurt people. See, when they do things to us, you know, the courts kind of just let them do it and let them get away with it more and more and more. But when you come for your own people, when you come for white folk, um, they shut you down. See, folk are so used to doing things to other groups of people, other racial groups, but you cross the line this time, Alex. You cross the line. So now they are even coming for anything that you do in the future. Wow. Just wow. Yeah, he's furious and he's putting more stuff out there. So they want to dismantle him. They No, we don't want your money. We want to take you down. That's what they were interested in doing. And so I want you, to all, you all to share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live and the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.